<laughs> I, hi YouTube, I'm back. I'm now it's time to go to the movies because this is one that you do not want to miss. It's uh, DreamWorks Animated Classic Pictures' newest release. It came out Thanksgiving Day. I saw my entire fucking family. My little brother had to come, but it's okay. He was annoying as fuck, but we put, gave him a soda and he shut the fuck up. This one's called Coco. It's just from the makers of Pixar. And... <laughs> and... This is about a, f a monkey <laughs> who wants to go hoo hoo ha ha and he goes to Mexico to go to the jungle to get his dad back. <laughs> we, um, <laughs> now. Coco is Maurice, the main protagonist, goes to Mexico to get back his father from the jungle. And along the way, this funny monkey meets a banana beast <laughs> and also gets a couple of friends. One of them is Donkey from Shrek. Yes, Donkey from Shrek makes a cameo in Coco. Why does he make a cameo in Coco? You find out at the end of the movie, so don't ask me. Go see the fucking movie. Donkey, as good as ever. Shrek, nowhere to be seen. Um, it's not a sequel to Shrek, so I know a lot of you in the comments are asking about that on this live stream, but nobody knows where Shrek is. Okay, especially not me. Um, have seen the movie. It has its ups and downs. It's not the best movie, to be honest. Shrek 1 and 2 are way better installments into the Shrek universe than this movie. But for a Shrek movie, it's still pretty good. And, and Puss is also in it, which is weird. <laughs> He's also in this movie. Um, and then do did not voice Shrek because he is indeed a pedophile. He's one of the pedophiles in Hollywood. They had to take his voice out of the movie and make <clears throat> and just replace him with an entirely different character. It's a weird character. It's a weird CGI mess. It's kind of like <laughs> the character they replace him with is a CGI blob. I don't know why they replace Shrek, the most iconic character who's literally nothing but a blob with a blob. <laughs> I don't know who what the creator or the writers were thinking of this movie. I blame the writers for literally everything. Um, but... <laughs> As much as I understand movies are made by writers, there's, there's, that's it. You just write a movie, and then it comes out. Um, so, <laughs> and then he 
<laughs> and then, um, do they make it to the end? All, all the characters? They make it to Mexico, which is some kind of metaphor for Trump and the border wall. Somehow, I don't quite understand. I didn't follow that part. They're trying to make a statement about how all immigrants are basically, like, okay. And that's, like, totally not true. Like, if you look anywhere in the news, like, any person you see, like, the last guy to shoot up, like, a mosque was probably, like, like in Jordan was probably from, like, Jordan or something. Like, So, in conclusion, like, pretty much all of them are no good bad guys. And I don't agree with the message of Coco, which is why I can't give this one a 10. I just can't give it a 10. <laughs> um, like, subscribe, leave a comment, do whatever the fuck you want. Give me the middle finger. I'll, I'll eat your dick. I'll eat you up. I'll fuck you. Ugh.